Hello, in this video we're going to uh, derive the generating functions for a multinomial distribution and the uh, PMF is defined like this, the probability that x1 equals x1 through probability that xk equals little k is defined like this. Now there are some restrictions that the x's uh, sum to n and the p's sum to 1. I forgot to write that, but that's one of the extra uh, criteria. So the factorial moment generating function, now these are vectors, so eta of t, but t is a vector. It can be thought of it as this. And then that um, is defined as the expected value of t1 raised to x1, t2 raised to x2, da, 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 t k raised to the x k. So that says stick this in times the probability mass function summed over all possible values. Now this here is kind of a buesome notation. This is, it says sum over all possible x1 through xk with the restriction that they sum to n. Well here, the exponents are the same as exponents here so we can combine those. And so this comes down and then we combine the t's and the p's to this. Well, this is still a binomial expansion, which is this. And so where the it's t1, p1 plus da 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 plus t k, p k raised to the n. So this is the factorial moment generating function. And let's do a quick example here. And let's find the moment of one of the components. So, um, what we do, that means we take the derivative with respect to tj of this factorial generating function, which is this. So if we take the derivative with respect to tj, well, the n comes out front, and then we decrease it by 1, but then we take the derivative with respect to tj in here, which is pj. And now we evaluate it at 1 for all of these. And then when you put in 1, this sums to 1 then, and then raised to the power is just 1. So we're left with n times pj. And we know that to be the, you know, the mean of a binomial. And if you think of a multinomial, if you look at just one component versus everything else, then it actually reduces to a binomial. And that's kind of what this is saying here. So the second moment... Um, and this is this is notation here that we're going to use. So xj two with an underscore. That means the uh, uh, the falling factorial of order two, or the second fact. You know the second factorial moment of xj. And that says take the derivative twice with respect to tj. And then that, so we take the derivative again here, and the n1 comes out front, decrease it by 1, take it uh, derivative times tj, we get another pj, so that's squared, evaluated at 1, and it, it all drops out, and we get n, n times n minus 1 times pj squared. And actually, this is the same, uh, f the moment, the factorial moment that we got in the binomial case. And you have to go back and look at the video that I uh, just created to verify that. But um, that's just a quick illustrative how this is done. So, but now in general, um, if we let R be the sum of these RAJs, which are less than or equal to N, so in this case, you know, R was 2. In this case, R was 1. So it doesn't have to equal in it could be anything and so these are all falling factorials of the respective um, x's okay um, so i'm not going to uh, expand that because it gets pretty ugly but that says take the rth derivative because there's you know it sums to r um, r one of them with respect to t1 and then you know all the way up to rk derivatives with respect to tj and then what that means is we're going to take the this factorial and, and take it, you know, end, end up taking the partial derivative r times. So this this 
X, uh, exponent keeps coming out, you know, R times. So there's one, two, all the R terms here. And then when you take, um, oh, so we're are pre evaluating at one. So you, you end up with something like this, you know, N minus R, but do you take, uh, when you evaluate it at one, this drop, this becomes one and drops out. But then you are left with P1 raised to R1, P2, RK, PK, RK. Anyway, so this is the generic way to find factorial moments in a multinomial distribution. So to look at the moment generating function, that says evaluate e to the t, you know, this sum. And this is a, this is thought of as a vector. And that says stick stick this in here well since this is a sum this is actually the product of e's and then we have the same exponent in in you know each term so we can combine the e and the different p's into this so e to the t1 p1 raised to the x1 and we do that for all k of them well this is again a multinomial distribution and this x means over all possible ways to the sum over x1 through xk, such that they add to n. Well, this is a multinomial, which is this. So that is the moment generating function. And then the characteristic function becomes easy once you know the moment generating function. So it just says evaluate the moment generating function and put an i uh, t, remember this is a vector, in, in here. So, and that's what we do. And so instead of T1, we get IT1, P. That should be a P1. And then we do that for all K. And so this is the characteristic function of a multinomial distribution. And then we can also uh, derive a probability generating function. And so we let uh, the sum of the RJs must equal N. When we're calculating uh, falling, the factorial moments or the falling factorial moments, it, it didn't have to equal n. But when we're calculating the probability generating function, it must equal n. So the probability that x1 is, say, r1 through xk is rk. So those have to add to um, 1. That says divide each by their respective factorials, take the nth derivative, and, you know, nth partial and then uh, with respect t1 r1 times and tk r k time of our uh, factorial moment generating function evaluated at zero instead of one and then when you do that you get something that looks like this so the factorials are still the same and then the the exponent of this keeps coming down in time so it's it's this and then we ended up n1 minus n because we took n derivatives. So ultimately this goes away. And then, but each time you're taking the partial with respect to a t, a different t, you know, so many times and we're left with this. Well, this right here, this is um, n factorial. And then we're left with this. And then this drops out and we're left with that. And well, this is exactly what a multinomial distribution looks like. So that is how you generate the probabilities for a multinomial distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.